you can overcome the problem that you're facing. Let me say that again. You can overcome the problem that you're facing currently, right now, and the ones you've been facing. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, I'm reading from the NIV, it says, For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. So yes, we face difficulties in life, no doubt, but they only give us an opportunity to trust the Lord and to overcome. Without problems, we would have nothing to overcome, and thus, would not be able to receive the, the blessings promised to those who overcome. Did you know there were blessings? There are seven promises in, in um, Revelation that are given to overcomers. This is the last one. Revelation 3 verse 21. To him who overcomes, I will give the right to sit with me on the throne, just as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. How awesome is that? We don't usually remember or think or even know that there are specific promises for when you overcome because it's written that in this life we'll have trials and tribulations. That is given. But did you know that once you overcome, there's actually a reward? There's a promise. As you face the problems of this life, keep your eyes on your destination, just as Jesus did. Walk closely to God and depend on him. He will not fail you. 1 John 4 and 4 says, You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one that is in the world. So you need to say to yourself, I am an overcomer in Christ Jesus. The Lord is my helper. The one who is in me is greater than any problem. Barikiwa.